So let's start off with the first piece of news that caught me this week. And it's about our guy, Jonathan Majors. Now, we 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 all know about Jonathan Majors, right? Let me uh let me share it with you guys. We all know about Jonathan Majors, right? Everything that happened. Marvel had hired him some time ago to be the next big bad villain for their Marvel films at going up against the Avengers. He made appearances as a character known as He Who Remains, uh, King the Conqueror, and Victor Timely. Um, the unfortunate news is that he got fired after being convicted of a domestic situation with his then girlfriend. And it, it just really caught a lot of people off guard when the news was announced that Robert Downey Jr. was going to be the new big bad villain in the MCU and he would be taking on the character Dr. Doom. Um, yeah, when TMZ caught up with the actor recently, coming out of a gym, just minding his own business, they decided now's a great opportunity to go ahead and ask him so many questions about his feelings toward uh, Robert Downey Jr. being announced as the new big bad villain. And I got to admit that my guy seemed heartbroken. Like, if you see this news, well, actually, I'll just play it for you guys, right? We could play some of the clip. I think some of the sound is coming through. Uh, if you guys don't hear the sound, let me know. I will Matter of fact, you guys are here right now. If you guys hear the sound, just let me know. If you don't hear the sound, I'm gonna I'm gonna tweak it. What's going on, Ash Ronald? I appreciate you. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's play this clip from TMZ, uh, where Jonathan Majors was asked about his feelings with uh, Robert Downey Jr. taking on the role of King. Um, excuse me, as Doctor Doe. Hey, how are you? Here. I must say, it was announced that Robert Downey Jr. I appreciate you. I'm trying to fix that or work that out for us right now. Let me know I mean, if this is a little better. Like you Thank you, your team. villain, you know, Kang. I mean, are they hurt with the new direction that, like, Marvel is, like, following? Yeah, heartbroken. War. Yeah, how could, come on. Come on. Yeah, of course. I love him. I love Kang. I love Kang. I mean, you know, Doctor Doom is wicked, though. Oh, yeah, it is good. It's pretty good. I mean, I mean, both Robert Downey Jr. and Ezra Miller have had like a history of trouble with like, you know, the law and getting arrested for felonies. I mean, you only had a misdemeanor. Do you feel like it's unfair that like you're not being given the same opportunities as them? Oh no, no, dang out. Uh, I think it's, I think it's fair that. Mr. Downey is being and has been greeted with uh, patience and curiosity and love uh, and that Mr. Miller has gotten the same treatment um, and that they're being allowed to work their art and uh, be creative uh, at that level, you know. Uh, it's not, not, I'm not really, I didn't really, I didn't really get that. So, you know. Do you wish you had like the same opportunity as them? I mean, that's hard. I mean, come on. Yeah. I mean, why do you think that's the case though? Like for them? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Would you want your old role back? Like your old job back as King the Conqueror? King? Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I love him. That's why I said I love him. I love him. I love Kank. Love Kank. Just love he who reigns. Love him. If that's what the fans want, if that's what Marvel wants, let's roll. Hell yes. And, and you, I, don't, I don't know about Shop. I don't know about Shop, but I got to tell you, honestly, I feel like as fans, we're getting a little shortchanged here, right? I haven't been talking a lot about Marvel on this channel. You guys may have noticed that. I have a strict thing where I really don't like to talk about things that I don't want to accidentally promote. I, don't, I didn't really want to promote Marvel for a while because I just didn't really connect with the projects that they were putting out. 
Kang was one character I connected with. You guys might even remember, I had my Kang gang t-shirt. Me and E-Man had this whole campaign we had planned for the character. But it feels like the fans have been kind of shorted now because we invested so much time in Marvel Phase 4, Marvel Phase 5, in this character, trying to figure out clues, trying to connect things into how he may reveal himself to be the big bad villain that we knew him to be and that kind of got taken away from us right like at least it feels that way we still don't know what marvel is actually going to do when they go into the next phase of their films when they go into introducing robert downey jr's dr doom we really just still don't know what it is that they're going to do however uh it just doesn't feel good you know i'm curious what their reaction is going to be moving forward i've seen how divisive the news has been as robert downey jr as victor von doom but i'm curious what they how fans are going to feel now that you know time has passed from jonathan majors's issues and honestly the guy has always seemed remorseful about the whole incident he seems to be, you know, handling himself with grace and being really professional. TMZ's harassing him as he's just minding his own business. Um, but yeah, th this one feels rough. And I hope that Marvel has a plan. <laughs> I'm sorry. That, that's a little triggering for me. Some of y'all know, but I hope, <laughs> I hope Marvel has a plan or they're starting to make a plan on what to do with this character moving forward because you can't just leave it like this, right? You can't just leave it unresolved because too many of us is just going to be unhappy. Can you see me better now? How do I look? Good? But yeah, this this one was a major disappointment. Um, But that's not the only movie news we had this week. Let me, uh, let's move on to some... Kang, you know what? Yeah. Kang has to come back. Ash Ronald, you kind of right. I still feel like that there's opportunity to bring him back. Um, Miss T, thank you for comments. And you, you 100% right. TMZ is wrong for this, one, right? Like this, this one, like we've seen how they do, right? We know what, what they're about. This is TMZ still. Um, and I agree. Kang felt like it was going to be really, really good. You know, he felt like a fish out of water in the Ant-Man movie. He felt like he was just too much of a threat for Scott Ling to handle. He felt like an Avengers level threat, even in that film. I was really excited. I was, yeah, I remember that after credit scene uh, where you saw the multiverse of Kangs and, and, and they was just going wild. And it's, I was hyped for that multiversal war. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Let's let's see what Marvel wants to do, right? Because at the end of the day, Marvel and Kevin Feige can literally do anything they want. There's nothing off limits. They can do anything they want. So let's see what they do. Um, but I appreciate y'all for comments. Let's uh let's see what's on to the next piece of news that I have here. Oh, oh yes. Let me get this up for us. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 